I media ignored or worse hit piece on nation's best doctors taken apart by peak prosperity. Early in this video, he says he doesn't consent to the media showing him what they want him to believe. It's a little bit, well, not a little bit, it's way too late for that, fellow. It's way too late for that. Doc. Dr. Chris Martinson from Peak Prosperity. You've already given a lot of helpful advice to people. You've already done a lot more than is required of you to prove that you give a fuck about your fellow living being. So here's some advice I'm giving to you. Abandon ship. Dump what you're doing. Dump the the market stuff. Dump the coverage of the Pac-Man virus. Forget about it. Walk away. Stop paying attention to the government trolls. Ignore them. Just walk away. And if you absolutely need to do something on YouTube to pass the time or to attempt making money, do something else. Research into how to start a, a farm in your home at different levels of financial instability or stability. Do that. But jump out of the sinking ship with the, uh, the virus coverage and the ineptitude and the unwillingness to do anything from the government, well, governments, all of them. Just ignore the bullshit. You've already given a lot of helpful advice. You've got your own website. Keep your information on that on your website where it's uncensored, unedited, and unfiltered through the lens of bureaucratic corporatization. Keep it there. As far as YouTube goes, do something else. Start a... <laughs> start something else. Change can be difficult, Dr. Chris. But, in this case, it's absolutely worth it. Hell, something you don't have to put a lot of effort into. You can start your own Let's Play series, and you can apply your highly analytical mind to dissecting the internal mechanics of games and asking how can they be altered to support everyone's pursuit of happiness. Because it's not just an American phenomenon, it's, uh, it's endemic and pandemic to all existence. Everyone has the right to live their own lives, to pursue their own happiness. So long as they don't take direct action to infringe the same rights of other living beings. Now, there are some cases that are exempt from that, such as the need for food, or the need to defend oneself. But hey, there's, there's a couple of ideas. Knowing you as little as I do, Doc, I think you might go for the farming thing. Showing people how to be self-reliant. That might fit your sociology. That might actually be something that a lot of your current viewer base might appreciate. Well, hell, a lot of them will. <laughs> if, I, if I know what I know about psychology. Everyone will still 
appreciate that you're helping. But I believe it's imperative that you simply stop keeping track of this bullshit situation that's going on. They've already slapped some censorship bullshit at you, so respond by adapting to the circumstances of the situation. Don't try the brute force method. Don't try to keep covering the situation and dissecting all of their bullshit. And that's what you've done for 11 minutes of this video I'm watching of you. I'm getting a good laugh out of how fucking deluded they are. <clears throat> but send them a clear and evident message that you've already said you don't consent to their tyranny, so send them a further reinforcement of that message. Let them see that you're just walking away. Don't feed the troll under the bridge any more attention. Just walk away. Let's see. And there's only so much that you can do. Even with all of the um, recent discoveries as far as teaching people how to maintain a, uh, a garden, a farm, something like that. There's only so much you can do. Hey, you're a critical thinker. You'll find a way to um, explain it for everyone to understand. <clears throat> oh, before I end this video, <clears throat> Doc, there's a great deal of things that go into preparing land to be used for self-sufficiency. Uh, the pH balance of the soil, water content, aeration, uh, ambient temperature values. There's where you get into outdoor versus, um, oh, what's, what's the thingy? It's right on the tip of my nose. I can't fucking remember what it's called. Greenhouse, that's what it is. Indoor greenhousing, um, starting something in your your restroom with a potted plant. There's a number of different ways you can go about it. But the recent, well, this century, last 100 years worth of advancements in agricultural engineering makes an outdoor farm almost completely irrelevant. You can have one entirely indoors. Don't forget the appropriate UV lighting and UVC. Limited UVC. Probably about 10 minutes at most a day. For both plants and people. That stuff can cause ground level ozone as far as I can remember. <clears throat> but it's germicidal. It inhibits certain parts of viruses, bacteria, and germs from being able to reproduce. I used to know the exact thing that it did. Anyway, take it away, Dr. Chris Martinson. You'll do far better with that than I will. On that note... That little bit of advice I, I'm giving out to you for your YouTube channel. Yeah, it's to keep you off their bullshit radar. Yeah, it's to help keep you safe from their uh, political assassination agenda. Because they'll definitely step it up. Also, you, you don't have protections that I have. They've actually literally sent no less than five agents to kill me, personally. But I'm still here. So, Doc, 
My point is simply, get off their radar. Call it homesteading if you want. But do get off their radar. It'll help you in the long run. And I'm saying this because it's not just my job to give a fuck. <laughs> I actually enjoy some of the inflections and the psychology that I can see in your eyes. <laughs> I know when you're not recording, you're laughing at how fucking retarded and stupid they are. I know. I can see that painfully evident. Well, not painfully, but <laughs> it's inspiring. So there, that's the end of this video. I hope someone shows you, or you see for yourself, Doc. Get off the sinking ship while you still can. Toodle pips.